Climate change is now the number one threat to humanity and our planet. But did you know that damaged natural ecosystems like peatlands also contribute to climate change? Peat is an accumulation of old plant remains. These plants are adapted to living in very wet environments, perfect for the rainy Irish climate. The vegetation that forms the peat is dominated by a special type of moss called sphagnum, which thrives in water. But how does peat grow and why are the peatlands so deep? The difference with sphagnum compared to other plants is that it has no roots. The sphagnum grows up towards the sun and as it does this, the stem becomes part of the bog. This results in layers of organic vegetation forming on top of each other, creating a peatland. Carbon is trapped between these layers like a sponge. To build a carbon capture station taking in 5,000 tonnes of carbon each year would cost around 20 million euro. Or you can let 2,500 hectares of natural bog do the work for you for free. This special moss has stored an enormous amount of sunlight in its peat soil over the years, much more than a tropical rainforest, for example. Sphagnum and the wet environment it grows in are huge assets in our fight against climate change. However, burning or draining peatlands destroys this delicate, damp ecosystem and releases carbon back into our atmosphere. This actively contributes to global warming. A hectare of drained peat emits around six tons of CO2 per year, equal to the emissions of one and a half cars. Globally, as much as 5% of the annual greenhouse gas emissions come from damaged peatlands, despite the fact peatlands cover only 3% of the Earth's land surface. This is more than the emissions from aviation. This is an issue of international concern and countries with large peatland cover, like Ireland, have a special responsibility to conserve these invaluable ecosystems. Only a tiny proportion of these bogs are in good condition, and annual emissions from deteriorating Irish peatlands are nearly as high as those from transport. But with advances in science, public awareness and government policies, we are restoring peatlands back to their natural boggy state. In Ireland, we try to re-wet peat by blocking drains and building dams, which stops water from leaving the system and lengthens the time rain stays on the bog. We engage people to work with these delicate environments, not against them. When the peat is re-wet, it once again becomes home to our special sphagnum, which begins to sequester carbon. It is important that peatlands are once again restored to their former glory, and working with communities is part of that journey. This is critical in the global response to the climate and biodiversity crisis.